So let us have a look at this mean absolute error that we get. So by mean absolute error, it's just on the test data that we used. So we can use this to evaluate how good our model is. So what we've done is based on the data we had, uh, we had a house with the size of 1500 and that's worth $400,000. So a size of 1500 and is past price, actual price was 400. So when we look at the data and we ask the model now to predict it, let's see what price it comes back with. So the price it comes back with is 396. 396 is the price it is predicting, but we know we actually have the actual value, which is 400. So going back to the mean absolute error, this is remember done on the test data, but it is saying on average, if you were to predict a house price based on size of a house that you give, it doesn't have to be already existing in the data, but it can be anything, uh, you know, 1500, 1600, 1700, whatever that you want. Uh, it predicts that there will there's a chance that it will be off by $4,000. So if we have a look at our example, the predicted price is 3.396.19. So $396,000. $0.19. So this price that it's predicted versus the actual value. Now we know the actual value because we fed the, the value uh, at 1500 is $400,000 and that's off by four. So based on that, I remember our R2 score for accuracy was pretty good as well, not 0 0.999. So three nines are there. So it's not surprise, no surprise at all that the mean absolute error is saying that the value that you predicted could be 4000 lower than this value so it could be you know the actual value could be 392 or it could be 4000 higher or it could be 400,000 and so on so in this case it's actually proven to be very good because the figures here are very close to the actual data we had but that is not always the case as we'll discuss next sometimes the value and the difference you get here is much greater so the mean absolute error although it will say 4000 but what you may end up with when you compare it against the actual price it'll be a great Greater difference between it. But for now, in this instance, it's worked out very well and it's actually pretty good based on uh, what the model produced. But there's more in understanding this, so I'll catch you next time.